Lock in Stivers Ford Lincoln downright proud to salute organizations in town on a weekly basis, Jackie. And we have one here that's kind of a, a neat little gathering we have. That's right. A lot of people are getting into fun runs these days, whether it be coloring or colors or uh, light it up. And we have one coming up not too far away. Yeah, Hope for Healing 5K Glow Run is the name of this event. We have Ruth Engelbart here. She's the chair and also Tiffany Allison joining us. Talk a little bit more about that. But Ruth, tell us about this. This sounds like it's going to be fun just by the name alone. Well, it should be fun. Um, my daughters own a fitness center in Indianola, and uh, I'm not a runner. I'm not an athlete. I'm none of these things. I'm a promoter. And I said, let's put this together and have the proceeds go to the Coalition for Domestic Violence. That's what I thought would be fun. And then with our coalition, we've got some great members, the Glow Run, some local uh, Simpson College is sponsoring, People's Bank. A lot of people have stepped up to the plate to help us put this together. Now this is an important thing that you want to it's, help raise money for. It is. Um, we have um, probably over the last year, I work in the Warren County Attorney's Office as a victim witness coordinator and then I serve as chair on the coalition. We probably had 200 victims for domestic violence last year. And that's just in your area? In Warren County yeah. uh, alone. Um, and that's Indianola. That's basically. well, Indianola, Norwalk, that, that general Carlisle. Okay, yes. Okay. Um, the one thing we don't, we have a lot of victims that don't go through the system, that are out there, mm -hmm. and uh, we find out through churches or organizations that they need help, and that's where our coalition steps up to, you know, help the families that are in need. So we always need money. So tell us about the race. Let's get to the fun part. And we can talk more about the organization itself. When okay. exactly is this happening? It is September 19th. Okay. It's going to be at 7 o'clock. We've got a lot of fun things going on. We'll have a DJ. Uh, the National Guard gave us a bunch of glow sticks. I don't know how that's going to work. but um, <laughs> They're from the National Guard. They're probably good glow sticks. I'm going to guess they are good glow sticks. And um, it's just a fun night. Yeah, I was going to say, this is 7 o'clock at night, cause a lot of runs you hear early in the morning, but this is a glow run. Well, so I've heard night. a lot of people don't like those morning runs. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too early for them, right? Yeah. Exactly. So we're going to take that crowd. <laughs> That's good. And I do want to say that uh, the registration for this, uh, we had a deadline of August 29th. Okay. However, Simpson College is one of our sponsors, and their students start September 1st. So we are extending it to September 2nd okay. to hopefully get some of those students, well, students involved good. as well. Where yes. does the race uh, kick off? Where does it start at? At the Indianola High School okay. in the north parking lot out by the high school. Wonderful. So, so it's just going to be a great night. Uh, oh, it's going to be a of fun events. night. Fun night of things going on. And Tiffany, something that's very dear to your heart as well, and something you're involved with is this cause that we're raising money for. Yes, absolutely. Um, victims rely on resources from the coalition um, in order to help them. A lot of times they leave, they don't have anywhere to go, they're starting over, and so the coalition will help them relocate, um, give them money for deposits and utilities if needed, and help them support their families, so it's important. What does it mean to uh, people and individuals going through this to know that they have a community supporting them, but also they have somewhere to go to get some help? It's tremendously important because a lot of times victims don't have um, the best support system, and so the coalition, um, victim witness coordinators, and people that are involved um, kind of in the process kind of become their support system as they go through it. So it's really important. Okay. And now, were you able to utilize some of their services? I was. Um, for me, victim services was important. I um, fortunately didn't have to find a shelter. Um, I was able to stay in my home, but there was a lot of damage done to my home during the assault, and victim services provided funds to get um, the damages repaired. Really? And they also um, reimbursed me for some time lost from work due to injury. So it was very important, yeah. Little things you don't always you don't think, think about, about right, in those situations. Right, yeah. absolutely. You never, you know, it was, it was unexpected, and so those costs would have been, you know, large had I not had support from victim services, um, medical bills, all that kind of stuff. Now, so. did they find you, or did you go? F did you find them? Um, well, I was involved in the court process, so um, it's all kind of tied together if you okay. go through the court process, and they mailed me information. Um, the officers let me know that there were services out there, and then everything just kind of came together for me. So. Well, I'm gl glad yeah. to see you're doing better now. So yeah, that's, that's great. So yeah. it's a yeah. good end. Of it's the story. good to hear positive cases, but as you were saying, there's many people that don't even make it through this system. If they're out there, if someone's hearing a story and they know someone that needs to get in touch with this coalition, is there a way to do so? Um, reach out. Um, you can. 
you can always talk to me, anybody in the coalition. I'm, I'm relatively well known in the community, and if you say Ruth at the courthouse, they know where I'm okay. at. So, um, you know, we're there to help them. And I think it ought to be noted, too, that we don't have a safe house or a shelter in Warren County. So if um, these, these funds are so important mm -hmm. to help them because they do need something mm -hmm. to help them. Motel fees and rent, deposit, whatever. So Give them a place to go. Now you have an art show coming up too, oh, don't you? Oh, we do. I'm yeah. so excited <laughs> okay. about this one too. Um, like I said, I'm a promoter. Yeah, I you love, are a promoter. I, I love these. A uh, girl who used to be on the coalition for years and she was gone. Now she's back. She's an artist. Uh, I said, let's do an art show like we did about 10 years ago. She has some great artist friends that they donate their work. So, and all that money is going to go to the coalition, all the proceeds. And it's during Bras for a Cause in oh, Indianola. I love that I mean, okay, too. it's Thursday <laughs> night it. in Indianola, the 24th. Of I, September, yep. Yes. And um, so she's designing the bra now. And uh, <laughs> we're going to have a nice little reception, and it's going to be fun too. So much fun. That, I've been to that event, and it is a blast. Well, come to Indianola. We've got a week full of. I know it's a lot of fundraising. Yep. But oh, was it an important cause? All for a great cause. But remind us again all the details on the run because I'm loving this. It's at nighttime. It's about having fun. I'm gonna, as we're going to see just you. Running. Yes. <laughs> yes. But tell us all the details on that once again. Well, you need to sign up by September 2nd. Okay. And um, I think you just pay your money and sign up. You can go online and do it. You. Um, we start at seven o'clock. It's going to be a fun night. You have go. a DJ, you can dance, you can glow, wear your character costume, I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. Do whatever <laughs> And then the want. art show's going to be happening on the 24th, and that's going to be over at the studio on, uh, what, First Avenue? Yes, okay. yes, just south of the Indianola Square, and there'll be several activities going on that night. Yep, so that, and from 7 till 9 p.m., so yes. that'll be a lot of fun yes. there, too. So hopefully between those two, we can raise a lot of money here. Oh, here. I'm hoping so, and thank <laughs> you for this opportunity. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Ruth. Yes. You're a heck of a promoter. Oh, good. good